we want to see businesses open too. Um, Scripps, like every healthcare system, is losing a ton of money right now. And uh, but we want to make sure we do it the right way. Scripps Health CEO Chris Van Gorder says they were given the county plan to reopen more businesses the morning of yesterday's supervisor vote. They didn't give us enough time to really look it over, discuss it with them. Um, there's uh, elements within the triggers that we have deep concerns about. Van Gorder says the curve isn't flattening everywhere. They've been at or near capacity at their Chula Vista hospital for weeks, and he says reopening businesses could make that situation even worse. We've had to transfer 56 patients from Chula Vista up to our northern hospitals. Sharp Healthcare also said yesterday they hadn't received the county plan before the vote and were only shown an outline. Sharp and Scripps say currently they are handling about 60 percent of the county's presumed COVID-19 cases. Both healthcare giants are concerned about the triggers that could lead to restrictions coming back. One of the triggers is uh, hospitals reach 80 percent capacity for all hospital beds in the county. Uh, and the county always talks about, you know, the 6,051 beds. That's total beds in the county. That's not intensive care unit beds. That's not negative pressure isolation rooms. So we'd be in deep trouble, you know, long before we ever filled all, uh, 80% of our beds if our ICU beds were full and our negative pressure isolation room, uh, rooms were full in a COVID situation. If Scripps and Sharp had seen the plan before the vote, they might have been able to work on a compromise with the county. UC San Diego Health and Palomar Health both said they supported the plan after meeting and going over it directly with county health officials. I wanted to thank Patty Mason from UCSD and Diane Hansen from Palomar uh, from uh, two large hospital systems that came down and took the time to work with our CAO and our team. After raising their concerns, county supervisors voted unanimously to move forward with reopening. So why didn't county health officials share the plan with Scripps and Sharp in advance or ask for their perspective? It was completed over the weekend, and we uh, had our partners review it on Monday, and we submitted it um, uh, on Tuesday evening. So that is the... So no one was left out. County Public Health Officer Dr. Wilma Wooten says once the reopening plan was finished, they shared it. We've reviewed the the application with them, and different people have different uh, opinions. Scripps says they've been a good partner with the county and just want to make sure the community is safe and prepared for what could be coming. Matt Hoffman, KPBS News.